today is do a quick review of one of the navigation apps now I've used a couple when I've been out and about and the one that I'm finding I like the most is the Waze app not just because it's free but uh, I find the usability of it and everything really really you'll have to excuse me she's away with the furries there so the sat nav is nice and clear I can see it quite easily I don't know if it comes across that way on the GoPro but I can assure you it is very 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 visible what I do like about this app is it is free as I said before who doesn't love something for free especially if it works really well which this really does now what I do like about this is the traffic is also real time because Waze links up with other users so if you're using this in your car your bike your even your push bike I suppose um, you can actually report things yourself so if you do come across an accident or some traffic or some roadworks you can actually update the map yourself by putting in said roadworks so you can actually go onto the settings of it click a little button report an incident that then alerts other users of the same app which i think is really good because I know there's other apps out there that do real-time traffic but it does take a bit of time to update the system whereas you can literally have an accident in front of you I can press on this little button here and put that there's an accident right in front of me traffic's not moving that then sends alerts out to all the other Waze users and it will redirect them and my phone has just gone off. What a crock of shit. So as I'm telling you how much I like this app, it's gone and done that to me. So no more either. I'll find somewhere to pull over and work out why the hell it's done that. I should imagine that's down to my phone settings, nothing to do with the app itself. It's gone too hot. What's a pain in the arse that is? So, guys and girls, it would appear this isn't a fault of the Waze app. This is a fault of the new iPhone that I got last week it's saying that my phone's too hot so this is the downside of having a phone as opposed to using a sat nav because as you can see now i have to let my phone cool down before it's actually gonna let me use it again so i'm gonna put it in like so I can honestly say, last time I used the Waze app was um, to help me to get to a place in North Wales. Yeah, it was faultless. However, today, because it's so bloody hot, using the phone app is a bit of a bugger. Because the app is as only as good as the phone that you're using. And believe it or not, my phone is the brand spanking newest iPhone. And unfortunately, because the sun is shining, the phone has got a bit too hot. All I've done is set the sat nav again. 
we'll see how we get on this time at the minute it seems to be working fine so all is good in ways and apple land as you can see there it is nice and clear excuse the wire that i've chucked in there that is purely because my phone overheating so i've unplugged it and hopefully that will stop it hopefully it will but we'll see as well as having the sat nav on there any text messages or phone calls it just pops up and it's all visible so that for me is really handy so far it's working my apple hasn't overheated yet <laughs> so so far so good and it's nice and clear image it's telling me exactly where i need to go so let's just uh, follow it let's see how good it really is the downside is with the apple phones if you're running i think it's if you're running any kind of program if it gets too hot it just goes to pants and uh, that's what it was doing but albeit it's really warm there is a bit of a breeze now so hopefully that little bit of a breeze will be enough to keep the phone temperature down any phone is a good cheaper alternative to forking out a few hundred pounds for the sat nav instead of using my car sat nav i tend to use the waze app it's a lot easier to use than uh, my car set is and it just seems a little bit more accurate the maps are constantly being updated as opposed to my car which was updated when it left the garage three years ago and it doesn't get automatic updates so mine is seriously out of date whereas this bad boy will always be right on the money so far so good when i first tried it lasted about five minutes i think it's done more than that now and it's nice and clear which is good because i've not missed any turnings yet because of the visibility being bad and that's even with the sun being out in all its glory today so there is a bit of reflection from the sun but it's not affecting the visibility like i say i can still see where i want to go for me the ways app wins hands down if you want to use it to get to a particular place if you're not actually looking to go for the best twisties around you're just purely looking at getting from a to b and doing it avoiding traffic it's the best one to use i can honestly say i've tried quite a few different ones that are available some paid some free and i think the free ways app is as good as if not better than most of the paid apps that i've tried but as previously seen with this video it's only as good as the phone that you're using and if it's going to overheat because of the weather conditions then regardless of how good these apps are a sat nav would be better so the decision is the if you are going on a long distance trip you do not want to risk the phone overheating for me as i've discovered today if it's important if you go into somewhere like you're going across europe you cannot afford for your phone to be overheating so sorry mobile phone apps and people who want to save money but it's time to invest in a sat nav i would certainly encourage anybody to try the ways app if you've not tried it already it is free and i'm talking like i'm being paid by them i can assure you i'm not because at the moment i haven't got enough subscribers i don't get paid by anyone which is where you lot come in give us a hand if you haven't done it already hit the subscribe button yeah, yeah, yeah,